Here we'll talk about the stabilizers and it is used to control hole deviation. At the first, we will learn that the stabilizers, types, classifications, application of the stabilizers, and then we'll, at the last, we will learn about it is used to control hole deviation. Stabilizers. What is stabilizers? Stabilizers is a piece of downhole equipment used in the bottom hole assembly of the drill string. It mechanically stabilizes the bottom hole assembly VHA in the bore hole in order to avoid an intentional side striking vibrations and ensure the quality of the hole being drilled. The stabilizers is composed of hollow, hollow cylindrical body and stabilizing blades. Both made of high strength steel. Stabilizers are proper, properly positioned in the BHA to accomplish specific function, like blades contact walls of the drilled hole and create side force that pushes the bit toward the desired direction while the drilling string is rotated. As we will we will we will learn that in the uh, in the in the uses of the stabilizers to to control hole deviation. The second, depending on the number and position and OD of the stabilizer, the well angle can be increased, hold, or decreased. Additionally, what we learned before, stabilizers are used for many reasons and can be used to control deviation, reduce vibration, and increase the rigidity of the bottom hole assembly. Maybe it's this hair, hair, or hair. Drawing stabilizer application, at the first, stabilizers are mandatory for centralizing the drill colors in the hole because of the, the, the high difference in the diameter between the stabilizers and the drill colors or have wall drill pipes so that, drill pipes so that it is centralizing the drill colors in the hole, increasing drill string stiffness or rigidity. As a stabilizer's number increasing drill string, as the stiffness or rigidity of the drill string increase, that's increase the ability of the drill colors to drill a smooth and straight hole and reduce the undesirable drilling bits movement, such as bit wobble. Wobble. which reduce bit life. Also, at the final, it will provide some rimming action. Because of light diameter of the stabilizers, it will provide some rimming action and wipe the wall of the hole to ensure a full gauge hole. Stabilizers classification, according, we can classify the stabilizers according to the type of the stabilizer, the type of the blades, according to the shape of the plates, according to its position in the BHA, according to its size, and we will learn each type of them, of these classifications. According to the type of the blades, we can classify the stabilizers in two. Integral blades, welded blades, replaceable, variable or adjustable gauge, and non-rotating stabilizer. Integral blade stabilizer made from high strength alloy steel as a single piece tool. They are rolled and machined to provide the blades. That means the body of the stabilizer and this blade is made from the, it, it is a one part. The blades not uh, welded or not uh, replaceable or not individual uh, sleeve. It is from the same part from the same steel, we made uh, the stabilizer on it is, uh, it is plates. The IBS, IBS, I mean integral blade stabilizer, is well suited for use in most formation, from soft to sticky and hard and abrasive formations. Because of, as we mentioned, it is blades are integral, integrated to the, the body from the same part that's eliminating the risk of leaving Components or piece and hole, or uh, some parts of blades 
uh, maybe fall in the in the hole and we need additional operation to milling or uh, fishing operation because of the parts the blades are made from the same part it may be uh, nail pitch stabilizer or uh, citrine stabilizer maybe under gauge maybe full gauge stick any uh, any type of stabilizer according to the type of the blade the second one is welded blade stabilizer welded blade stabilizer using the bha in which <coughs> the the blades or steel blades welded onto the body that means the blades are from the blades are different parts from the body it's welded into the body and it can take any shape maybe maybe a uh, spiral stride offset uh, stride offset it used in soft formation to medium hard formation holes because of uh, there is a dangerous and there is a possibility to the blades maybe uh, if we use it in a hard and upper formation it is, uh, there is a possibility of uh, or risk of leaving components or pieces uh, maybe fall fall down or fall off in the in the hole and the welded blade stabilizer they are best suited for large hole sizes where formation is softer because they allow because they allow maximum flow rates okay if you uh, if you see here the the distance between the blades and the the body is very large and the blades are thin so that uh, so that this provide a high area or high space to uh, to allow maximum flow rate so that we can it is best advantage it is uh, it is best suited uh, to large hole uh, sizes the third one is replaceable or a replaceable or a sleeve uh, stabilizer it consists of replaceable sleeve that are installed on the stabilizer body the blades can be furnished with tangent square bead and surface for drilling in abrasive formation because of we use it in the we use it in we use it in the abrasive formation and high formation because of if the blades are damaged uh, from the abrasive formations we can't replace the sleeve only the sleeve there's no need to replace uh, the entire body of the, the stabilizer so that is used uh, it is also best best uh, suited for abrasive formation and it can take uh, different types maybe it is uh, two pieces to be stabilizer or three pieces stabilizer two piece that consists of uh, from the sleeve and the ma mandrel okay the body are called mandrel the sleeve is called onto the threads on the outside of the mandrel and torque it up the mandrel to the sleeve uh, the mandrel to the sleeve to the recommended values recommended torque values and the third one uh, three piece stabilizers the sleeve is secret onto the mandrel first by hand the, then the saber sub this part mandrel sleeve and saber sub is then secret on into the mandrel and this connection is torqued up to the recommended value for the variable or adjustable gauge stabilizer sometimes we need to use a full gauge stabilizer and sometimes we need to use under gauge stabilizer according to the application that we that we will study it uh, in the next episode uh, so that uh, the variable or adjustable gauge stabilizer it, it's provide that property to control stabilizer od without tripping the bha out of the hole okay we can run it and uh, use it as under gauge stabilizer and full gauge stabilizer to activate the variable stabilizer the tool is run to the button at reduce mud flow rate then applied value of a uh, recommended value of weight on bit this will cause the tool to expand when we uh, apply a weight on bit here the the tool or the blades here will expand to it is maximum od okay or full gauge full gauge diameter okay and at the same time while submitting the weight on bit, the flow rate increased to the normal drilling rates. That means increase the flow rate to the rate that we used in while drilling. This will lock the tool in full gauge position. 
okay the system will moving down and lock the the tool or the blades in full gauge position and will remain locked until the flow rate is again decreased to previous value and to deactivate the stabilizer to deactivate the blades the flow rate the flow rate is reduced this protection in the flow rate will unlock the tool then pick it up the draw sitting of bottom allow to retract the tool to its angle gate position that's mean reverse the operation that uh, that we, uh, the process that we use it to activate the tool non-rotating stabilizer the rubber sleeve allow the sitting to rotate while the sleeves remain stationary this leaves here remain stationary while the drilling or while the rotating drilling that means all the VHA rotating but only the sleeves remain stationary so that the wear on the blades is much less than in other stabilizer because it's not rotating it's not affecting by the, the formation so that it, is, it is may be used in the very hard and passive formation these stabilizers are used to centralize the drop colors if we classify the stabilizers according to the shape of blades we can classify it to two types straight blades and spiral blades straight blades in which the blades are striped and the, the, the advantages or, or functions of the stabilizer is to at the first generate a load of torque and vibration because it is does not have a fully contact or because the blades don't stay in contact with the formation longer as in second type spiral blades lower standby pressure than lower standby pressure than spiral blades stabilizer so that it is preferable for hole cleaning and pressure losses because there is no restriction no restriction in the between the blades because the blades are to try so that the the flow rate and the mud can pass uh, over the blades here without any restriction so that there is a lower standby pressure and so that is preferable for cleaning and the pressure losses and also it is easier to bump cuttings past at straight blades than in the in the spiral blades second type spiral blades in which the blades are spiral as you see here but it's different to lose maybe the, the sleeves extend from hair to hair or maybe hair different types the spiral in which less torque because the blades stay in contact with the formation longer as a result a spiral blades stabilizer does not move around in the hole like a strike blade stabilizer so that slightly higher standby pressure because uh, there is a restriction and there is a difficulty to accelerate on the mud to flow from between the, the, stab, the between the blades and more difficult so that more difficult to bump cutting for the, the same uh, the same reason and more likely for cutting to ball up around the spiral blade stabilizer uh, some type of formation like mold to ball up around a spiral blade stabilizer according to the position in the VHA the stabilizer can classify it in two types near bit stabilizer and and suturing stabilizer near bit stabilizer easily identified by double by having double box connection the the, the bottom one connected to directly to the bit and the second one co uh, uh, connect to the non-magnetic drill color or uh, any type of drill colors or any part of the BHA if you use motors or something like that this type I mean near bit stabilizer sometimes it is recommended for keeping the bit rotating about its axis because it is very near to the bit that's mean if you have a, a full gauge stabilizer near the bit that will keep the bit rotating on its axis there is no wobble in the, the bit that will keep the bit a uh, little longer the second type sitting stabilizer it is uh, it can't take any shape 
we can recognize it from the box at the, at the top and uh, pin at the bottom that connected to the bit sub or in any place in the, in the citrine. Any pipe, any pipe in the citrine uh, can take the same shape, box at uh, the top and pin at the bottom. We can also classify the, the, the stabilizer according to the size, to two types, full gauge stabilizer and under gauge stabilizer. Okay, and it is used uh, it is used for many reasons uh, in the in control hold, in control hold reagent, and uh, maybe sometimes we need it to reaming and uh, keep the keep the and keep the drug colors away from the, the away from the wall of the hole so that it is avoiding the avoiding the stack pipe and such of the other using for the the stabilizers two types. Two types for we can classify it according to the size. Okay, according to the size, we can classify to one full full gauge full gauge and under gauge, and it is as we mentioned, uh, it can't take any shape else can take any shape and any type of the stabilizers. In next video, inshallah, we will talk about use of stabilizers to control hold deviation and I'm talking about side force and using uh, and the, the VHA according to the bit, uh, bit side force and according to the purpose of using this VHA. See you in the next video.